There you are. I really must speak to Cook about the Wiener Schnitzel. It is entirely too delicious for my figure. <laughs> and it makes you much too quiet at the dinner table. Mm. Was it the wine? Oh, undoubtedly the wine. <laughs> you have no idea what kind of trouble I'm having trying to decide what to give you for a wedding present. Oh, I know, I'm enough. <laughs> but I do want you to have some little trifle for the occasion. At first, I, I thought of a fountain pen, but you've already got one. And, and then I thought, perhaps, a villa in the south of France. But they are so difficult to gift wrap. Oh, Georg, how do you feel about yachts? A long, sleek one for the Mediterranean or a tiny one for your guide, hmm? <laughs> Elsa. And, and where to go on our honeymoon now, that is a real problem. I thought a trip around the world would be lovely. Then I said, oh, Elsa, there must be some place better to go. <laughs> but don't worry, darling. Elsa. I'll... Yes, Georg. It's no use. You and I. I've been dishonest to both of us. I'm utterly unfair to you. When two people talk of marriage... No, don't. Don't say another word, Georg, please. <laughs> you see, uh... There are other things I've been thinking of. Fond as I am of you, I really don't think you're the right man for me. You're, um, <laughs> you're much too independent. And I, I need someone who needs me desperately. Or at least needs my money desperately. I've enjoyed every moment we've had together. I do thank you for that. Now, if, um, if you forgive me, I'll go inside, pack my little bags, and return to Vienna, where I belong. And somewhere out there is a young lady who I think will never be a nun. Auf Wiedersehen, darling.